Today's video five starts on page 37 in your packet. It's a problem of the day. You're going to find the area and answer the questions that are um, on this page. You have one, four, five questions to do. Please answer them carefully. Formula, plug in, answer, label. Area of other polygons. This is uh, 10.3. In the sixth grade textbook, volume B. So if you need extra help or want to read along with me, you can open up the online textbook and uh, follow along with me. Uh, find the areas of regular, regular polygons. What does regular mean? Regular means that all angles and all sides of that polygon are congruent. Congruent, meaning equal in measure, they're the same size. Uh, the symbol for congruent is the equal sign with the tilde over it. So all angles are exactly the same and all sides are the exact same measurement. Patrick drew a regular pentagon, meaning it's equal sided, as you can see here, 16 centimeters. And if you were to measure all of these angles, they would be exactly the same. Uh, with length, side lengths of 16 centimeters, he divided that pentagon into five identical triangles and measured the height of one of the triangles to be 11 centimeters. Find the area of the pentagon. So the height of a triangle drawn inside, if you take a regular polygon and you divide it into equal triangles, that height has a special name. It's called an apothem. A-P-A-T-H-O-M. So that height is called an apothem. If you split a regular polygon into equal uh, triangles, then that height inside that triangle is called an apothem. The line segments from O, the center of that pentagon, to each vertex of the pentagon divides it into five identical triangles. These triangles are isosceles because each of those sides is the same. So the sides that are drawn in here, they are equal. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. So the area of a triangle formula, 1 half base times height, half of 16 the side length, times 11 the apothem. So half of 16 is 8, times 11 is 88 centimeters squared. Since there are five of them, inside that pentagon, the entire pentagon would be 5 times that 88, which would give you 440 centimeters squared. Give the minimum number of identical triangles you could divide each regular polygon into so that you could find the area of the polygon. Well, again, this is just a pentagon, number one. So if you draw from the center to the vertexes, you would get 5. Number two, that shape is a hexagon. So yes, a hexagon is it's a regular hexagon with equal angles and equal sides. So this would have six um, of the same triangle inside of it. The line segments from O to each vertex of the pentagon. Next page. Blake drew a regular pentagon with side lengths of six inches. He divided the pentagon into five identical triangles and measured the height of one of the triangles to be four and one tenths. Find the area of the pentagon. So it's the same thing we just did. It's a pentagon, looks something like this, although hopefully it's more equal sided than mine is. All these sides are about the same. So from the center, you're going to divide that into five congruent triangles. The height, the apothem, is four and one tenth inches. So that height is four and one tenth inches. The side of the uh, side lengths of the pentagon are each six. So the area is five triangles, five times one-half base times height. Well, five times a half, the base we know is six, times the height of four and one-tenth, 
Well, half of 30 is 15. 15 times 4 and 1 tenth would give me 61 and 5 tenths inches squared. So number 4. Melanie drew a regular hexagon with side lengths of 28 centimeters. So all of them are 28. She divided that hexagon into six identical triangles and measured the height of one of the triangles to be 24 and 2 tenths centimeters. Find the area of that hexagon. Well, that hexagon is six identical triangles. So six times one half base times height. Well, six times a half is three, or I could just write six times one half times the base of 28 times the height of 24 and 2 tenths. So 3 times 28 is 84. 84 times 24 and 2 tenths would give me 2,032 and 8 tenths centimeters squared. So in class tomorrow, we're going to be looking at regular polygons and dividing them into congruent triangles and using that formula to find the area of these regular polygons. That's it for today's video.